To say it is easy. To believe it and live it is something else. And so I think that when I say we have a sovereign nation, in my mind, I believe that our leadership are the ones who govern us. You know, explain this to me. You claim you're sovereign, you're independent people. You are. You never gave that up in any of the treaties. So why are you saying this foreign law, which, is, which it is, is what grants you your sovereignty? It makes no sense for me. And I'm a white settler, and I'm saying this. Indigenous people have the right to make law and the right to manage all of our natural resources as we're in the habit of doing. Canada has recognized, you know, the rights of Indigenous people. So for me, what does that mean, Canada? Well, what are you doing? And are you working with the First Nations to implement something that you accepted? Because of colonization and the d dislocation of our societies, we have lost those societal pressures to act um, in a certain way. Western laws are, are, are more about what, what's, the, what's the moral standards of the day. The, the Western idea of law is that you don't necessarily have to live by the law, but the way society is structured, there, there's a lot of unspoken laws that go with that, and then those codified laws go with that as well. In our world, uh, you wouldn't see those written laws. It's not like a, a code per se. It's a set of ethics. We have always existed in process of protocols. Protocols, relationships, ceremony, all those things have been part of our, our understanding of how we relate to each other. Our communities have always been in a state of survival. And I think being able to have our own sovereignty and to have our own self-determination, that'll put us in a state where we're thriving. The other governments have to be open and have to be understanding of the change that is going to come as a result of being able to be where we need to be. It's not about what rights we can exercise in the world. It's about how we do and what we do for everybody that, that resides within our people. As long as I've been on this earth, I've always heard that we are our, our own. That's how my grandpa just put it. He didn't say sovereignty at that time. They didn't know those words. They didn't say those words. They just said, we are our own. If you're sovereign, declare it. Then create your own constitution, your own legal system, and go from there. I guess in the ideal world, the Canadian government, municipal government, provincial government would have no place in our lives at all. That's what being sovereign is. But in the long run, we have to be able to find a different way of being able to have the voice of people participate and, ex and exercise their consent, but not through the elected system.